Not many of us like to be asked to do things more than once. Probably the reason is we haven't done it on the first time, so we have to do it the second time and then the third time. In the gospel today, Jesus is going to ask Simon Peter, basically, do you love me? Do you sacrificially love me? Do you love me to the way that I have loved you? Maybe a question you could ask in your heart is, how are you loving Christ more deeply? How are you giving Christ a little bit more of your love? This Friday is a day of sacrifice. We always sacrifice in some way on Friday. Depending on when you watch the Holy Mass, this Mass, you may have sacrificed something or, or not. But I invite you just to recognize that God is inviting Simon Peter to love him, to love him sacrificially. Be present. Don't accuse God of this pandemic and in effect, not sacrificially love him. Some folks are getting mad with God's timing. I invite you, be present. God's part of all of this experience and he's asking us, do you love me? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Today in the Gospel, what a beautiful opportunity we have from the Lord to respond, yes, Lord, you know all things, you know that I love you, so that we can set aside all of our desires, all the, even of our emotions, and really say, Lord, I choose you, I choose you. Let's call to mind our sins, ask the Lord, for his forgiveness and his mercy. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who by the glorification of your Christ and the light of the Holy Spirit have unlocked for us the gates of eternity, grant, we pray, that partaking of so great a gift, our devotion may grow deeper and our faith may be strengthened. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. King Agrippa and Bernice arrived in Caesarea on a visit to Festus. Since they spent several days there, Festus referred Paul's case to the king, saying, There is a man here left in custody by Felix. When I was in Jerusalem, the chief priests and the elders of the Jews brought charges against him and demanded his condemnation. I answered them that it was not Roman practice to hand over an accused person before he had faced his accusers and had the opportunity to defend himself against their charge. So when they came together here, I made no delay. The next day I took my seat on the tribunal and ordered the man to be brought in. His accusers stood around him, but did not charge him with any of the crimes I suspected. Instead, they had some issues with him about their own religion and about a certain Jesus who had died, but who Paul claimed was alive. Since I was at a loss how to investigate this controversy, I asked if he were willing to go to Jerusalem and, and there stay in trial on these charges. And when, and when Paul appealed that he, had be, had, that he be held in custody for the emperor's decision, I ordered him held until I could send him to Caesar. The word of the Lord. Our response, the Lord has established his throne in heaven. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. For as the heavens are high above the earth, 
so surpassing is his kindness towards those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he put his transgressions from us. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, you mighty in strength, who do his bidding. May the words of the Lord be in my heart and my lips, and may worthily and joyfully proclaim this holy gospel. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. After Jesus had revealed himself to his disciples and eaten breakfast with them, he said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. He then said to Simon Peter a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that he had said to him a third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Amen, amen, I say to you, when you were younger, you used to dress yourself and go where you wanted. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. He said this signifying by what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had said this, he said to him, follow me. The Gospel of the Lord. We often joke about this gospel because as, when we get older as priests, we always say, yeah, someone's going to dress us and take care of us. Of course, Father Mario and I are always teasing Monsignor Hart, yeah, we'll take care of you when you get older. And Monsignor Hart always says, I am older. But the point is, you see so many beautiful things in the gospel that I just want to highlight. First, the imitation of Christ for more. Do you love me more than these? I remember my spiritual director saying so clearly to me, when he'd asked me to kind of memorize this passage for my um, ordination prayer, I guess you could call it, he had said, pray about what is more than these. Was it the 153 sh- fish that, that Simon Peter had brought ashore, or the net full? Was that what it was, more than these, these possessions? Or was it to the other apostles that were sitting around by the Lord? And he says, Simon, do you love me more than these? Do you, love, do you put me first in your heart? But in any event, whatever it was, it was left to the prayer. My question for you today is, what is more than these in your life? Do you love Christ more than those? And some of those can be positive, great blessings. Do I love the Lord more than my family? Do I love the Lord more than the job that the Lord has given me? But sometimes they're negatives. Do I love the Lord more than this sin? Do I love the Lord more than a negative emotion or an unforgiveness? Something to pray about. Secondly, is just to recognize the repetitive question of the Lord, do you love me? He's drilling down deeper to elicit from Simon Peter a profound understanding, right? Are you willing to love me to the best of your ability? That progression of love in Simon Peter, just like all of us, we learn to love the Lord a little bit more, we pray each day. After a statement of love, then there's always an invitation. Follow me. We can't follow the Lord unless we really love, unless we love him deeply. As I celebrate the Mass, are you following the Lord after having set aside the more than these? Have you pushed them aside? It's awfully hard to follow the Lord if you're bringing all of those negative emotions and negative qualities or unforgiveness. May the Holy Spirit inspire you and help you to realize that God is really saying something very beautiful today. Do you love me more than these? And what are more than these in your life? Confident that God our Father is with us, now we turn and place these petitions before him. For the church and all who serve in the church, O Lord, that we may be 
true witnesses of your grace, let us pray to the Lord. Holy Spirit, help us to turn away from those things in our lives that keep us weighed down, burdened, that keep us unforgiving to others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we ask you to inspire us to follow the Lord, follow you, Lord, more deeply each day, to trust more confidently that you are eliciting a more sacrificial love from each of us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, for those who struggle with depression, chronic illness, for those who have the anxiety during this time, for healing and grace, for the little ones to, confini- to, consider, to, to finish their studies as they follow the Lord, let us pray to the Lord. God, our Father, hear our prayers and those in our hearts. We ask them through your Son, Jesus, through Mary's intercession as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look mercifully, O Lord, we pray, upon the sacrificial gifts of your people, and that they may become acceptable to you. Cleanse our, excuse me, let the coming of the Holy Spirit cleanse our consciences. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight that they might make us sharers, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts, they sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Wilton, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, especially those who have died these months. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. And with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed Apostle St. Andrew, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. O God, by whose mysteries we are cleansed and nourished, grant, we pray, that this banquet which you give us may bring us everlasting life. Through Christ our Lord. Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. This weekend, just to remind you that we'll either have the masses or the adoration, please check the website. Great opportunity to come receive the Lord, either in the church or outside. And also, um, if not, we'll have adoration and tons of chances for confessions. Let's do something really beautiful for the Lord on Pentecost Sunday. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the divine power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits that prowl around the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.